all aboard your tech and games caboose. So Nokia at Mobile World Congress today released four phones on stage. So the Nokia 9 PeerView, their flagship with five cameras, and then three budget phones, the Nokia 4.2, 3.2, and OnePlus. So let's go over these starting with their flagship. And the big difference here is obviously the cameras and the display. So let's start off with the cameras. We have a short little video showing some nighttime. So it's capturing it 10 times more light than other similar cameras. This is five cameras. They're all 12 megapixels and they take one photo at the same time. So they combined it to do some cool HDR stuff, some blurring effects after the fact, you can edit and change that. So that's pretty cool. And here we have, we see actually all five pictures. Three of them are monochrome, so black and white pictures, and then two are RGB. So all five cameras, one picture, and then you can do a lot of cool stuff with that. And let's talk about each of these, I guess. That'd be a good idea. So five cameras with Zeiss optics. So let's check out some of the details we get from this. So again, five 12 megapixel cameras and a 10 times more light. So super awesome for that. And then also, I think it said a 12.4 stops of dynamic range and then some raw DNG stuff. Let's check that out. Uh, number two is HDR. So you'll get some good uh, details in the highlights and the shadows and everything looks like a pretty good picture right there I'd have to say and also we have some other tabs to check out the next level of focal control so you saw some of it in the video you can actually change it after the fact adjust the blurring levels and there is 1200 layers of adjustment basically so that gives you quite a bit of detail to uh, get what you want in focus and change your mind later. So that's pretty, pretty good feature that you can use five cameras for. So that is some echo possibly. We'll turn that off real quick. And also awaken your inner pro. So you can edit your raw photos that you're taking with this camera on the actual phone with photo, uh, Photoshop Lightroom. So you'll get some good uh, effects with that some extra detail and everything. So raw DNG format to retain, retain detail that gets lost in JPEGs. So Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, so pretty high level of control that you get with that. And lastly, with this camera, you can take black and white photos basically with one of the monochrome capture modes. So you'll get some a unique method delivers stunningly crisp black and white photos with ex exquisite detail. So pretty cool that you can just take a regular black and white photo with a monochrome actual ca smartphone camera. So they're using the five cameras in a pretty good way and that gets us into comparing some of these phones. So this is a 6.6 inch screen with a quad a QHD display and that's 2880 by 1440 pixel resolution. And that is a little bit bigger than the Nokia 4.2 which has a 5.7 inch screen, which is HD 720p, and has a Snapdragon 439 versus the Nokia's 9 Snapdragon 845. So a little bit slower processor right there. And at two gigs of RAM, uh, they're all running Android 9, most of them are. And also uh, you get micro USB with the budget oriented phones, the Nokia 4, 3, and 1. So a little bit different than USB-C and also uh, two gigs of RAM, 16 or 32 gigs of storage on the Nokia 4.2. And also you get two rear cameras, a 13 megapixel and a two megapixel. So you can do a little bit of uh, blurring with this, it looks like, and a front facing eight megapixel versus the Nokia 9 has a 20 megapixel front facing camera. So that is a pretty big difference for front facing and rear cameras, pretty big differences there. And also we have the Nokia 3.2, which you're going to drop one of the rear cameras for just a single rear camera. And this is going to be a, a little bit larger than all the phones so far, a 6.26 inch screen. Uh, also still HD 720p with a little bit slower processor, Snapdragon 429, two gigs of RAM and storage is around 16 to 32 gigs, two options there. 
and also let's jump over to the next one. These two also have uh, notches on the display, little water droplet notch, small, and fingerprint readers. And then the Nokia One drops the fingerprint reader, drops the notch, and has a 5.45 inch screen. And that is WVGA, so 480p, so you're gonna get a little bit less resolution, obviously, with this. And this is a MediaTek 6739 processor, one gig of RAM, and that is because it's running Android 9 Go Edition. So you're gonna get a light versions app like Gmail, the light version and YouTube. So some slimmed down versions. So that will be well optimized for the Go editions. And then storage, you're only gonna get eight gigabytes because again, smaller everything going on. And that leads us into, we missed a battery. So 2,500 milliamp hour battery and the Nokia One, we're gonna go backwards which is a little awkward, but either way. And then the Nokia 3.2, the large screened phone, 6.2 inch phone has the largest battery at 4,000 milliamp hours. And then the Nokia 4.2 battery is 3,000. And the Nokia 9 Pure View, the flagship of them all, has a 3320 milliamp hour battery with some wireless charging and IP67 water and dust, which the other phones do not have those premium features. And a bonus phone is the Nokia 210, which is like a old school style phone with a QVGA display. So that's 120 by 240 or something, 160 by 240 resolution and uh, a bunch of really old specs, but uh, that's just another phone they had. And let's talk about pricing for these phones. The Nokia 9 is $700 and it actually is releasing today in certain markets. I believe Germany is already available in for 649 euros. In the US, I believe it's going to come in a couple weeks. I think a couple places reported coming soon. We don't have an actual date yet, but we have the Nokia 4.2, which is starting at $870 coming in April and then 200 for the larger version and for the uh, more storage version and RAM. And then the Nokia 3.2 starts in May at $139 to $140 to $170. And then the Nokia One is coming mid-March for $100. And then the Nokia 210 is $35 in March. So uh, there are most of your specs, your pricing when they're coming and pretty, pretty crazy phone with five cameras taking five pictures at the same time and, and making the most use out of it. Uh, some blurring effects, 1,200 different layers of blur effect basically. And then the premium display, the 2880 by 1440p display with the Snapdragon 845 processor. It's definitely some flagship uh, specs, I would have to say. So pretty good phones from Nokia and you decide which one's the best, which obviously it's the Nokia 9, but uh, unless you're gonna go for a budget phone, uh, pretty good stuff. And with that, we will have another episode tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific, probably some more Mobile World Congress stuff, but we'll have to see. With that, we'll be signing out. Pew, 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 pew.